Hey, 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 how's it going? It's Coach Alicia here. Happy, today's Tuesday, right? I believe it's Tuesday. If I say the wrong date, my apologies. But today, uh, I want to share with you, this is my clipboard, right? I'm a coach at heart. I believe that is my gift. I've coached many athletes, a number of teams at the high school, middle school, collegiate level and that's why I have this clipboard and today I want to get on with you uh, today or I want to say last night I realized something after a long day of you know just following the news and, and, and in regards to my business and having to shut down and and so late last night when I got in um, you know I was I was pretty tired you know I stayed at the gym pretty late to kind of just you know see everybody off and then I left I think I probably got home about like 8 30 or maybe nine something like that long story short so you know what I did is I got comfortable and I decided to sit on the couch and the couch was super comfy and I start watching this show I don't know why um, it's something about people dating there's a wall they don't see each other you guys probably know that show I don't know what it's called but I sat down and I start watching this show and then I was sitting there getting like into it and I'm like then all this drama start happening and the first thing that came to my mind, um, and I said to myself, protect your mind. And that is a topic of today, protect your mind, okay? The key to winning. And this is why I, I wanna share this with you because when, as I was watching that show, I thought to myself, protect your mind. That, that is my trigger word that I say, that I, cause I just wanna say focus during this time. It is a lot going on and especially owning a business and having to shut down, I need to stay dialed in, I need to stay focused. So there's no time for me to, you know, maybe down the road to watch a little bit of TV, but I gotta just stay focused and dialed in. So I'm calling this Protect Your Mind and here are the, uh, the few tips I wanna give you, okay? Do not binge watch. It is so easy, come on, I love Netflix and I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I sat there and watched um, uh, the, the, the one with the lady, I mean, I've, I've binge watched on Netflix before, right? And, and so, but during this time, I wanna remind you, it is so easy, so easy to just sit there on the couch, start gaining weight, and watch as many movies as you can, because one, we sometimes can lose self-control. And in this time of just of transition, of change, of, of, of different news coming at us, I encourage you, please don't sit on the couch, man. You're just gonna gain weight. You're gonna be stressed out. You're gonna be lethargic. You know, you know, sitting on your butt um, for long periods of time, it does, you, you really gotta understand your mind. Your mind needs to be fed stuff. It's like a plant. It needs to grow. It needs nourishment. It needs uh, a valuable information to make yourself think. By watching movies all day long and just eating all those groceries that you went to get, Man, you're going to like just become in a state where you just don't feel like doing much. And so I want to encourage you, do not binge watch, all right? Because then it leads to overeating, it leads to stress, it just leads to sickness. And hell, aren't we trying to prevent sickness? You know, having us be indoors, I get it, you know. I'm, com I'm fully compliant and I understand what the, what the goal of keeping people quarantined, right? But if you're sitting on your butt, you're watching TV all day, you're eating bad food, and you're not taking care of your physical and your mental health, we're gonna have more sick people. So people, you gotta take care of yourself, all right? Next, uh, next suggestion I wanna give you, if you have an Apple Watch, right? Or if you on your phone, everybody has you know a smartphone nowadays. If you don't, <laughs> man, uh, I encourage you to get a smartphone, right? Um, you can have apps that my watch it comes up, man, which is cool. I love this on my Apple Watch. It, it comes up, it, it, it vibrates, and it says breathe. I'm like, damn, watch, I don't want to breathe right now, but it centers me. It says, Alicia, stop what you're doing, take a second, breathe. I also have an app on here, you know, for movement. It tells me how much I'm moving, right? So there's apps, there's technology that can help you guys now. So if you're sitting too long on the couch, your app will, but if you have an Apple Watch or you have some other kind of app, it'll say get up and move. Now, if you don't have any of that technology or you're not fancy with apps, have someone help you. But there's no excuses to really get this dialed in. Okay? You can also program on your phone, put an alarm, put for every like 20, 30 minutes or an hour um, that your, your alarm's gonna go off, it's gonna ring and it's gonna tell you to get your butt up, to walk around, to move, right? You have to stay moving. You can't be sedentary dur uh, during this period, okay? Next, 
Here's what I did last night. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't get much sleep. I was up until 3:30 um, a.m. Uh, because once I got that into my head, like protect your mind. Uh, for me, again, that was my trigger. I went on. Uh, I, I went on YouTube and I found like a bunch of videos. Like I relate to sports. I'm an athlete, you know. And I do this. This is how you guys are asking me like. How do I prep? I, I, I've been an athlete my whole life. How did I prep for races? How did I pre, uh, prep for like individual races like uh, running the 800, 400 meters um, or team events or soccer events? I prepped and I've always had this in my back pocket. I've always watched videos of, of athletes doing amazing feats, right? And that gets me in the state of mind of just being pumped up for a race, being pumped up for an event. Um, like my last event, you know, I watched a ton of running videos of people that are just amazing amazing at what they do and once I got that in my mindset it was like I was taking on that that trait that that victory um, because of the videos I watched so I went on YouTube last night I was watching um, videos I came up with one um, Roger Bannister if you don't know who he is go take a look right now I sent this out to my uh, our private group Roger Bannister is a gentleman that completed uh, the one mile in it's a sub four mile right so man he had haters galore he had scientists he had coaches he probably had friends um, family members that said you cannot do that buddy and how many times did he try to get the sub four multiple times and but he didn't quit he didn't fail so this is a time where I want to encourage you download some content whether it be video audio that you can put on and play remember your mind is so freaking crucial during this point uh, during this uh, process this journey of, of, of what we're going through you have to keep it in top shape it's like a muscle so many of you people work out and this is a problem I sometimes have with you know the athletic environment is that they're so busy training their bodies but they forget to train their mind and like I said I've been doing this for years and you know sometimes you know I will call my body collapses before my mind but it's because I train it you know and it's a muscle your brain is a muscle that has to be worked it has to try new things so if you have never sewed or you have never worked on calligraphy if you have never painted if you have never done sewing whatever it may be that helps your brain it keeps you um, it ignites those you know your brain to fire up because it's having to do something different so I encourage you in this time when you are just in your house and you have nothing to do go to YouTube University and pick something different you have never done before because you will learn to again train that mind to to work in a different way all right so create a video list and and again put it in your phone put it in your phone have the alarm go off soon as the alarm goes off you go to that list you listen to it get yourself fired up get yourself in a mindset right okay and what I want you to think about right here right now is how you can be better than what you are right now future okay um, again this is uh, there we, we don't know how long this is gonna take and but you don't want to focus on that what I've been doing for myself is every just focus, how can I focus on the hour okay you know if you if you don't want to go by the hour you can do okay 30 minutes what can I do in this 30 minutes to be the absolute best I can for me I've been focusing on the hour what in this hour can I do to be the absolute best I can be to to make smart decisions to to really encourage uh, the community that I have um, and so I'm for every hour and then once that hour is up okay it's on to the next hour I don't focus like way down the road because you know for some that could be scary and there's no point you focus on the here and now get things done work at your greatness work on what you're good at and focus stay on the task at hand so you know what that is the end of my clipboard man I need a whistle now <laughs> stop and give me 20 <laughs> that'd be awesome if everybody would just stop and give burpees uh, hey Doris how's it going oh man I, I was uh, hoping to be in France uh, one day friend I'm gonna be out there but uh, how's everybody doing you know chime in on here um, how are you guys doing how are you holding up um, who's who's out here committed to to really working on their mindset and not binge watching to really take an initiative to to really take care of their mental health uh, physical um, again um, I this list could have go on but I will say that for another video but again I encourage you uh, to encourage each other 
Um, if someone you believe that could use this video, please share it, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, share it. Um, because again, my, my job right now is I'm just going to keep coming on, hopefully providing value for all you guys. Um, but you guys are all special. You mean a lot. So for me during this time, I, I'm asking myself, how can I be better for everybody else? Um, so, uh, you guys let me know again, how, who's, uh, Jeanette says working from home, new recess outdoors with kids. <laughs> I know our babies, man. You got to keep their minds sharp too. You know, I think of my boys, um, and uh, you know, I know Vanessa's been doing an amazing job at home because I've been here taking care of business, and she is amazing with our boys. You know, they're doing their schooling and uh, they're doing a lot of artwork. Um, again, uh, keep the kids need to have different activities. So again, be creative. Um, you know, with your learning. Uh, they don't just have to do like math and you know writing all the time. You can be very creative with what they learn. And again, on YouTube, you know, um, I pulled up a video for my son on YouTube. So because uh, I wanted he he's he makes these little paper airplanes and he goes, Mom, the kids at school love it when I make them paper airplanes. Isn't that cool? They and I go, man, son, that's awesome. I go, would you like to learn something else? And he goes, what do you mean? I go, it's called origami. So it was a teaching moment there where you know he was able to say, you know, or I was able to tell my son, like, look at this is, uh, you know, origami. You can make all kinds. So he was fascinated. I mean, it's amazing the different people are talented when it comes to that. So he was really fired up to learn that. So um, all the kids say hi. Tell them I said what's up. Tell them they better be staying in shape you know, um, and taking care of themselves. So, all right, guys, that is my uh, little tip for today. Coach Alicia's out. If you have any questions, hit me up. Um, I'm here for you. Bye, guys. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.